Hi, in this video we will talk about a new feature, Spotlight, but first let's style this document. So for this project title I need the style title, heading 1 for chapter, heading 2 for subchapter and text body for the rest of the project. Let's uh, choose here Applied Styles in order to work faster. You can see I have everything at hand. So very fast, let's apply. Okay, and we have a little bit here. And we have finished editing the document. Now we want to see how to use Spotlight to detect problems. So let's activate from here. You can see we have some numbers and some colors, different colors for each style. You can see, uh, for example, for the heading one, I have number two. So this number here is corresponding to the numbers in the sidebar. So. I can check, for example, uh, that all the chapters have that green and subchapters are gray and so on. You, if I hover, I can read what style it's applied. It's very useful. And let's detect problems. For example, here I have uh, two empty lines. I delete them. Let's suppose I press enter by mistake and here again. Uh, I don't want between a chapter and subchapter to have some space. So after a two style, a heading one, I need a heading two. So I can remove that. The same here. I don't need a empty line under a subchapter. So if I need more space, I can go to indent on spacing here and change the value and decrease for below paragraph. Now I can remove that empty line. So I have this space between subchapter and paragraph. Let's see another case. If I press three times enter, I have three lines. It's not a good thing to have empty lines in a project. So I can see that with this tool. Um, let's suppose by mistake I select everything and apply, I don't know, any style here. But now I read that the title is the same style with chapter and subchapter and it's not okay. So I need, I know that they need to be different colors because they are different things. So I can apply what it, what is needed. And now I have three different colors for that three different paragraphs. So everything now looks good in this project. Let's see another case. For example, when we have a simple document of one page, many persons says, I have a one page document, but LibreOffice is showing me two pages. Let's see how we can use this tool to solve this problem. So let's remove the text. So now the text is one page. Uh, let's style a little bit. Let's have justify. I want a title. So let's write a title here. Let's have this style. And let's remove this text. So now uh, all the paragraph are on a sing are on a single page. Why LibreOffice is showing two pages? Let's activate Spotlight in order to see that. So we see three problems. First is the name of the project. Now it's good. Another thing is that on the green area we have more lines. So this means we have changed something manually. It's not okay. You can see here we have many lines and it's not okay because we selected the text and we press justify. And the third problem is that we have some empty lines here. 
So now the problem with the empty uh, page is gone, but we have one problem here. We have these lines and we don't want them. Let's inspect what is the problem. So let's open the style inspector. And we can see in this paragraph we have a expand of the paragraph. This means we have justified the paragraph by hand, not using the styles. We have I click here before. Okay. How can I remove that? We can press here, clear direct formatting. And now I have a clear green here. If I want everything to be justify, I don't need to select the paragraph and apply justify. I just need to change the style. So I don't need to do that. And apply, you can see I have these lines. Because it's not okay, I change by hand. So I don't want. Instead, we can use styles. So I can edit this style. Let's remove first. Press here or control M. And click on the styles, default paragraph, edit. And go to alignment, justified. Now all the paragraph are justified like we wanted and nothing is by hand doing. The same thing now with bold. You can see it's changed by hand. Now it's not. So if I want everything to be bold, go to font, style and apply and everything will be the same. So this thing is very useful in order to detect problems in your document. Uh, it's a new feature in 7.6. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more.